But some workers don't have offices and never did. These hypermobile workers would seem abandoned by technology, but that's not so. When you have no office, your mobile telephone becomes your office. Modeling is a really lonely industry. I travel around, I show up in a hotel, I live somewhere, I don't know anybody. And uh, I think that a lot of my uh, technology came out of the desire to communicate wider than my physical presence could be. Meet Anina. She may look like a Bond girl, but this model and entrepreneur has a high-tech arsenal James Bond would envy, and she knows how to use it. I grew up with technology. I grew up with two brothers who are computer engineers, so it was just a question of, well, I don't have enough money to buy a computer, what tool can I afford? The item that fit the bill was a cell phone. Not just any cell phone, mind you, but the best multimedia handheld device she could get her hands on. It became Anina's lifeline to the world, a mobile office in her hand. I think I was one of the first ever to have such a device. At least I never met any other model that was using it. Really, this computer. And suddenly, with the contact management software, I was able to build up a, a, a wide contact database that I could manage. That meant that when I was sitting on a location in the middle of nowhere, I could get an email saying, Anina, we need Polaroids of your hair for a job tomorrow in Spain. So I would just hand my phone to the photographer and say, would you please, you know, mug shots. I think that a lot of my success came because of my connectivity. The career lifespan of a model, however, is almost as short as the technology tools Anina employs. Using her unique skill set, she founded her own company and website called 360 Fashion. With blogs, photos, and online interviews recorded by phone, her team is a new generation of 21st century journalists. They're interested in the new communication tools so they can get their name and their brand and their message out there. Hi, this is Anina, I'm here today. I'm personally really uh, working to pioneer technology designed by women for women. So the things that I can see coming up in the future are devices that know where you are and know where the things are that you want to find. And the only way that you can really know that is either every single store has a database or you have 360 Fashion Reporters who pick out the best items. <laughs>